Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel SciTechCore. In today's video, I will do the Airtel Extreme Broadband Speed Test between the POCO F3 GT vs OnePlus Nord device. So this is the question which has been asked by plenty of my subscribers asking me to use the Airtel Extreme uh, Broadband Connection. So in this video, I will be using only the Airtel Extreme Broadband Connection and let's see which phone will be able to have the maximum speed Wi-Fi. That is what I am going to exactly demonstrate in this video. So first, so Airtel plan is about more than I think 200 Mbps of speeds and it will be varying from 200 to 250 Mbps of speeds. So right now both phones are connected to the same Wi-Fi network at this moment. As you can see friends, same Wi-Fi network, both phones. So this is the name of the Wi-Fi network which is Airtel Extreme Broadband. So first let's start the test in the OnePlus Nord 2, how much this phone was able to get, get the Wi-Fi speeds. So right now as you can see friends, I did say that the speeds will be more than 200 plus and it will be go I think the highest maybe 250 somewhere around that so right now we are getting speeds up to 235 as you can see using the Airtel Extreme broadband broadband uh, connection only so right now I did come to the Bangalore to my uh, friend's place so I was able to get this opportunity to test this kind of Airtel Extreme so immediately I thought of doing this kind of comparison with other phones so what am I having right now so right now as you can see from the POCO F3 GT is getting the speeds up to 170, 171, not bad. And the OnePlus Nord 2 got up to 239, so same Wi-Fi connection. And the upload speeds were close to 100. That's it, it's not increasing more than that 100 Mbps as you can see friends. So let's start the test again in the POCO F3 GT, let's see this time. Second time what will happen with the speeds. Second time the POCO F3 GT is getting about 47 Mbps. Let me try to open the speed test in the OnePlus Nord 2. Let's see what is happening in the OnePlus Nord 2 as well. So same Wi-Fi connection I did connect. As you can see same Wi-Fi. Both phones should be connected. Exactly. And as soon as this finish, I'll ready to start in the OnePlus Nord 2 as well. So let's start. Yes. Now let's see what the OnePlus Nord 2 can actually get the speeds. As you can see, when the OnePlus Nord 2 was able to get the most of the Wi-Fi speeds at this point, you can see the graph how it how did it go? It did go very fast. So it's kind of close to 250. I'm getting right now. 240 Mbps of speeds. 242 in the OnePlus Nord 2. As you can see, friends, exactly in the OnePlus Nord 2. So using the same Wi-Fi connection, I need to do a little bit kind of more testing on this POCO F3 GT connected into the same Wi-Fi connection, why it's kind of uh, getting really slow speeds. I'm trying to do the multiple times, not just one and two times, multiple times I'm trying to do the test and trying to, trying to show you the results as well. So you can see friends, same Wi-Fi connection at same location, same time, but different different results I'm getting in this phone, as you can see. The OnePlus Nord 2 was easily was able to get 239, 240 every time, 242 as you can see friends the OnePlus Nord 2. So now I think that has stopped. So let's do the test at same time. So 1, 2, 3. Let's see. Do the test at same time which phone will be able to capture most of the Wi-Fi speeds. So this time the OnePlus Nord 2 was able to get the most of the Wi-Fi as you can see doing the test at same time. So if you want, I can try to do the download speed test comparison as well. So just the basic test which I thought of just doing and comparing between both phones, just letting you know what is the speeds going on between both devices, between the OnePlus Nord 2 and the POCO F3 GT. As you can see, friends, doing the test at the same time, we got this kind of results. So I'm, again, I'm trying to do the multiple times, the same test, so connected to the same Wi-Fi network, as you can see, same Wi-Fi network only connected. And at this point, doing the test at the same time, these are the results we are getting in both phones. So I'm not sure why the POCO F3 GT is not unable to get the more than 200 Mbps of speeds but OnePlus Nord 2 was able to easily get the 200 Mbps speeds without much kind of issues. So again I'll try to do the multiple times. So I need to do this kind of testing even with other phones which I'm having right now. So iQoo 7, Realmix and Max and other devices but definitely I'll try to do this kind of comparison friends and right now let's see for the final time and I'll try to end up this video. As you can see the speeds, it's not, it's not crossing about 200 Mbps of speeds in the OnePlus, sorry, in the POCO F3 GT. As you can see, it's POCO, POCO F3 GT and same Wi-Fi connection, we are getting 152, 
and 167, 137, that's it. We are not getting much more than that. So in the OnePlus Nord 2, we are getting very high speeds. Directly, it's going up to 200 Mbps of speeds. As you can see, without any kind of stress at all in the OnePlus Nord 2. So 200 Mbps of, 200 MBS of speeds, the phone did reach before. As you can see, friends, the speeds. So clearly, I think the OnePlus Nord is slightly having advantage maybe in using the ATL Extreme, I think so. But I'll, I'll try to do the more testing in depth on this one, demonstrating what is happening. And thank you for watching this video, friends. Again, I'll try to come back with the download speed test comparison between both phones. So stay tuned for those videos in case if you're interested. So see you in the next video, friends. Until then, stay tuned. Meanwhile, signing off. Bye.